Two Real Housewife icons are trading in their high heels for mudding boots and hotels for motels. The new show, Luann and Sonia, Welcome to Crappy Lake, follows the fan favorites as they help spruce up the town of Benton, Illinois, as only they can. Take a look. Gosh! Oh my God, we have a surprise for you. Yeah. Can you guess what it is? A hot tub. <laughs> Yay! I can't believe our guests would buy such a thing like that. Hell, I've never, I mean, they would probably maybe give me a roses or some shit, but not a damn hot tub. This is so great. The hotel doesn't have a pool. It doesn't have tennis. It doesn't have a gift shop. It doesn't have a spa. But now we have this as an attraction. It's an added bonus to the hotel bedroom. Yeah, that's what I just said. They are the cutest. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies. Good to see you. You too, Sarah. Aren't they the cutest the motel owners? I mean, they were so excited that you were there. I, I love this. Yeah, it was great. Well, listen, fans are loving getting to see this new side of both of you because this is very different than The Real Housewives. So uh, there's no drama. There's no backstabbing. Right. Lynn, are you excited that people get to see kind of this different side yeah, of totally. you? Totally. That's just who Sonia and I are also. You know, I think that they've seen those comedic um, moments for us on The Housewives. And now we get to go to a small town, help people, and have comedy along the way because we go catfishing, we go <laughs> mudding. You know, we're totally out of our element. Yeah. But Sonia and I grew up in small towns. Yeah. So, you know, we love the local people. Um, they, are, they were so nice to us. Half of them didn't know who we were. Some of them did. Uh, so that was kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, you know, it's, it's my dream job, really. And, you know, we're like um, the odd couple meets like Laverne and Shirley because yes. we have comedic timing, both of us. Us. Yeah. We, I do cabaret. I use comedy in my cabaret shows. She does comedy on on the roads so on your city. city. Yeah. So you know, um, it's a dream. No, yeah. I'm loving it. It's uh, a total departure. You're right. A total departure. Yeah. And some people are saying that you guys are like the modern like Lucy and Ethel. Right. So, <laughs> so much fun. That's why a do huge you think, problem. Sonia? Uh, yeah. Why do you think that the dynamic for you with you two works in this kind of setting? Well, first of all, if you go way back, we've been friends forever. Yeah. So you know, Luann and myself, we're we're like family. We spend holidays days together we go off to ashrams together and we do <laughs> yoga know, shaman yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah. we are not afraid to get our hands dirty and we were brought up to work hard we both have really strong work ethics and we get things done yeah we ha we're very conscientious about a promise that we make yeah. yeah and you know to work directly with the mayor in these small town in this small town uh, has been incredible our producer is from this small town of Benton so uh, to, to go and and improve the town help people out and we have a good time out. along the way is yeah. really fun. listen we the town is already great these yeah. people are amazing they're 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 there because they want to be there we've made really lifelong friends. No. I was going to ask you, so like when you first arrived, how did things change from when you got there to when you left? Because some people, a couple people yeah. there seemed a little yeah. resistant, I think, to having these big Hollywood folks. Yeah, I think right. Well, they thought we were from it. Hollywood, and when we started to get off the plane, they had a red carpet expecting, like, you know, hoity-toities, and they're yeah. like, I hope they're not snobs, because these people are very, very down to earth. Yeah. And they see us in our shiny dresses going over to the, you know, to the firehouse, and they're worried, like, really, can they get this done? Can yeah. they help us? Do they really feel our pain? Yeah. And we do. We well, really you know, do. It was it was mutual, you know. We fell in love with them, and they fell in love with us along the way. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. the, we were there for six weeks shooting, so and we actually lived in the motel. People are like, "Did you actually live there?" Yeah, yeah. And we did. You know, my brother comes along on the show to help us out with the motel and painting and redoing our rooms oh, and nice. and all of that. So. Um, it feels like a family thing to yeah. us now, and you know we just love the people of Benton, and, and you know, they we come love the show. They come visit us. We go visit them. They come to our shows. <laughs> oh, they come to our that. tour, and like well, they really are our friends. Let me speak uh, to you about this too, because Ultimate Girls Trip, um, the mm -hmm. Real Housewives of New York Legacy, is going to air in December now. Yes. What can fans expect from this? This good old-fashioned OG legends. I mean, <laughs> look at that picture. If that doesn't say <laughs> it all, that speaks a thousand words. Well, <laughs> doesn't it? You know what we have? We have a really great time on this trip there's always going to be drama when you have that many women together yeah. and but I would say it's like really good drama you know I feel like a lot of the shows can be a, a little dark sometimes yeah and I feel like this is a light uh, fun trip uh, we break down those fourth walls and we talk about things that you don't really maybe more hear bickering our than backstabbing yeah, yeah. It definitely there's always yeah. bickering when you have that many women together yeah. and it's kind of like scary island part two. Oh my god well we're gonna have to watch those <laughs> and you can catch welcome to crappy lake sundays at 10 p.m on bravo and streaming the next day on peacock ladies good to see you good to see you Thanks Sarah. So much. Thanks.